Hi, I'm Ellen Krantz. And I'm Kyla Lynn. And we're the Ellen Krantz team with Compass Houston. Today we're bringing you the first in a series of videos featuring Houston neighborhoods. We're so excited to be in one of our favorite neighborhoods, The Heights. So we're going to show you around to some of our favorite spots today. <laughs> what we really want to dig in today is the neighborhood. So we're going to show you around to some of our favorite spots. This morning we're starting off at Egg House. It's by far one of the best breakfasts I've had in my life. When I lived in Woodland Heights, which was not that long ago, um, I could get around the city just from my access to 610 and I-10 yep. quicker than I can from the center of Montreux. Yeah. To me, it feels like Austin inside of Houston. Exactly. Amazing, because yeah. we have all the culture, but we have this gym right in the middle of our city. Exactly. I love a good flaky croissant. Oh my god. And that was delicious, but I am stuffed. I, I mean, I'm stuffed, and the sad thing is, is that I want to keep eating because <laughs> it's so good. Well, maybe <laughs> like, we should go for a little walk. <laughs> I think that's probably a smart thing, and then, like, I, I don't think I can eat one more thing today, and I know I have to. I mean, I want to, but that was well, unbelievable. Let's get going. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get, never good at this I'm gonna get I it totally in the hole, and then we're going to go walking. Oh my God, I stink at this. <laughs> Here, wait. Oh. <laughs> yes! I think they're letting oh, us go. Thank you. Part of what I loved about the Heights was the historic nature of the architecture and the beautiful bungalow homes. And so Heights Boulevard, you can see parks, you can see beautiful homes. There's lots of shops and restaurants and it feels like, you know, you can walk around and be able to do everything in your little town without yeah. ever getting in your car. No, I love that about the Heights. Are you glad this is the area that you chose? Yeah, I'm really glad that we moved here. Honestly, when we were looking at different neighborhoods, this was the only one that really offered that small town feel and that sense of community, but still close in. Right. There's also so many options for different people who want to move here. Right. Now there's townhomes, there's apartment complexes. Yeah. So there really is a varied amount of housing options here that even, you know, a few years ago didn't exist. So yeah. I'm really happy we chose to live here. I mean, it's interesting because I am, you know, I'm in the Heights all the time and I love the Heights. We're definitely moving back to the Heights. <laughs> um, there's no place I would rather live in Houston. Yeah. So it just offers, I mean, to me, I love the diversity too. Yeah. You know, I love the fact that everybody in the neighborhood's not cookie cutter. Not that there's yeah. anything wrong with that, no, but I love all, the yeah. fact that there's different cultures and different family types and, you know, it's just, it's a great environment. It's and it's got a good concentration of independent businesses. Yeah. which if you're someone that likes to support local businesses, it's a really good hub for you. God, I'm gonna end up being healthy working with you. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna go get the green. spicy go green. Um, and one um, full circle. So opposed to like healthy stuff. <laughs> Seriously, like this is delicious and really good for me. Yes, <laughs> it's a perfect fuel to go do a little shopping. What do you think? I think I'm always down for a little shopping. All right, let's go. Let's go. Is this the story you were telling me about? Yes. So the owner Bonnie is a Houston native. I'm so excited to show you. It's really cute. So every square inch of this place is covered in goodies. Support local. These are beautiful. I love giving these things. So what do y'all think? Do I need this? I think I'm pretty fly as <laughs> I think a mother. So. Should we go try to get a bite to eat? Sounds good. Let's go. We're sitting 
down actually with the owner of Verdine, Stephanie Hoban. Hi. Stephanie, so tell me a little bit about your restaurant and why you chose the Heights. Yeah, so we opened in April um, of last year, 2019. Um, after I run a food truck for about five years in the Houston area. This particular building, I just fell in love with um, it's a repurposed waterworks building. So yeah, it's like that's built, really cool. You know, it's an old, so it's the original floor, the original windows back here, some of the original brick we, we incorporated and used. Um, and we loved that we were right by the, the bike trail right there yeah. on Nicholson Street, by all the shopping you said. When I envisioned this restaurant, I really wanted it to be a friendly neighborhood cafe, you yeah. know, and so the Heights really provides that environment to, to have that. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the food. It's yes. all vegan, yes. am I correct? Yeah, okay. Correct. So our menu is 100% vegan, meaning there's no animal products, there's no meat, fish, dairy, or eggs. Yeah. Um, and so what we get to do with that is play around a lot. Everything is made by hand and from scratch here as well, all the way down to our ketchup even. Oh wow. You really feel like you're indulging here, but a lot of times there's this healthy kick to it that you don't really know you're getting. So even if you aren't vegan, you will enjoy eating here. Well, I think you're really changing the way that people are thinking about vegan food because a lot of people are intimidated or they think it's not going to taste good, but it's beautiful. This is an amazing setting. I know that this is going to taste amazing, so I'm really excited to try Fresh it. ingredients, yeah. lots of different flavors coming at you. Everything's well spiced, well seasoned. And again, for those that are apprehensive, we do have like burger and fries, you know, yeah, on the menu yeah. too. So there's, there is something for everybody. Okay, well, great. Thank you so much for taking the time to yeah, sit down with welcome. us. you're welcome. Thanks for coming into Verdine. Yeah. healthy food in our body. Everyone's trying to live a cleaner lifestyle and that includes your beauty routine. So we love Paloma Salon in the Heights. They use all non-toxic products. So they do facials and manicures and pedicures, including gel and shellac. And again, all non-toxic chemical free. Even 10 years ago when I had my house here, there was maybe two restaurants you had to have a club membership to be able to order a glass oh, of wine. I remember that. We were dry. Yeah, when I moved here. It was you were dry. like 12. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, should we go grab a cocktail? I think that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Justin Yu, who won a James Beard Award, was actually one of the owners here. And so you get to taste this amazing food in this laid back environment, you know, at a less expensive yeah, price. Yeah, totally. I'm so excited. This pizza is by far my favorite dish on the menu. Well, I have to try that too. Mm -hmm. I'm going from one to the other. It's delicious. Like drink these down really yeah. quick because these are also delicious, but we'll be late for our show. I yeah. know. We're here at the historic Heights Theater on 19th Street. This theater was built in 1929 and renovated in 2016 so it could continue to be a cultural and an artistic hub for the community. They have tons of awesome live shows here. I know you've seen some performances here. I've seen Leanne Womack here, who's amazing. Kenya Tucker's playing here next week, or I think next month. And they've got an incredible lineup, and the sound is amazing. Um, it's a really, really fun venue. Yeah, so. it's such a cool venue, such a great date spot. And we wish we could show you inside, but they won't let us film during the performance. But we're so excited to go check it out. This is us, Dramatica. Can you tell how dramatic we are? This is low key. <laughs> We're 
so excited to be here at Alice Blue tonight with the executive chef, Brandy Key, and partner of Alice Blue. She's gonna tell us a little bit about her menu, about what's going on now on the menu, and the changes that are coming forward in the future. Why don't you awesome. take yeah. over, Brandy? So, yeah, welcome to Alice Blue. This is a fantastic little neighborhood restaurant here in 19th Street. And the whole idea is having a new American bistro. So it's all very approachable, easy food that when you read the menu, you know what you're gonna get. Uh, one of the best things that we've got going on is we actually have a great bread program where we make 100% of our breads in house. The bread is something that you wanna come here for. That is so good. Thank you. And so then, Alice Blue happened, you know, like two and a half, almost three years ago. And what we've been doing uh, with this last menu is there were some crowd favorites from the original menu of Alice Blue that we've actually brought back. Brandy's been a chef at a lot of restaurants in Houston and has been in business. I've for been a really feeding long you time. for years. You have been feeding <laughs> me for years, but I eat like a two year old, so I never would have ordered that ever. Right. And that is like unbelievable. Thank you. And that's one of the good things about, well, what I like about this menu is, you know, everything's really approachable and there are a lot of small plates and there's a lot of vegetable plates. And so the idea for me is like when you go out and you dine with people is giving that option to where you can put multiple things in the middle of the table and just share it. She's a great chef. I mean, I've loved, I've loved every restaurant she's yeah. ever been involved with, yeah. but that food was unbelievable. Divine. Yes. yes, we will be back. That's a wrap for us today. Thank you so much for spending the day with us here in the Heights. We'll be bringing more video content to you guys featuring other neighborhoods in Houston. In the meantime, you can head to our website and check out our neighborhood guides. Ellen, I think we had a pretty good day. I think we had an awesome day. Thanks. We'll see, see you, you soon. soon.